Beautiful Beta Book by Sue Unstead and illustrated by Jill Tomblin. So this is a non-fiction book. It's actually one of my favorite books that I have in my collection. Uh, I also I also happen to love insects, so it's a great book to have. Amazing illustration. I love um, if you can actually touch it. There's lots of different types of, um, look at how beautiful and so realistic too. Jill did a great job with the illustration. So normally when you're reading a nonfiction book, you have the table of contents, tells you the title and what page it begins um, and the areas. All right, we're gonna get started. It says, beautiful beetles. What is a beetle? A beetle is an insect. It has a hard outer cover, wings, chewing mouth parts, and antenna. Beetles are the largest groups of insects. They also are some of the most interesting. So there's the jaws, the eyes. So this is the head, this is the thorax, and this is the abdomen. And this is a violet ground beetle. So a beetle's body has three parts, like I just said, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The head has two antenna, the jaws chop up the food, and the two big eyes are made up of hundreds of smaller eyes, so they have compound eyes. Um, the wings and the two legs are on the thorax, so normally the wings will be here, if they do have wings. And then four more legs are normally off of the abdomen. So here on this side we have a ladybug. This is the seven spotted ladybug. Uh, the two antennas help the beetles find food. A beetle has a hard outer wing case, and the cool thing is I can actually open this. Um, there's the outer wing case, which is cool. And um, the wing case acts as a protective shell. The wax covers the wing case, and the second pair of wings is folded underneath. So this is actually um, the other flight wing over here. Each leg has two claws to help the beetles grip. Pretty cool, huh? The birth of a beetle. The beetle has a four-step life cycle. It starts as a tiny egg, then it hatches into a larva or a grub. Those are the same thing. Next, it turns into a pupa. Finally, it becomes an adult beetle. So on this page, we'll start right here. This is the great diving beetle larva. Uh, this is a ladybug larva. Uh, this is a cock chafer larva, and this is a click beetle larva. So a great diving beetle larva looks for food underwater. The ladybug larva eats up to 15 tiny bugs a day. They eat aphids. A click beetle larva is also called a wireworm. And a cock chafer larva spends three years underground and eat plant roots, three whole years. That's pretty amazing to be um, in that stage for so long. So here, when we turn this, as this cool little um, turning parts here, you get to see the different stages, so I'll start with here. This is actually the life cycle of a Colorado beetle. So these are the Colorado beetle eggs. After one week, the larva will hatch, so that's the egg. Let me go to number two. Oh, this way. Clockwise. So larva eats leaves to grow bigger. So here's a larva. It's red. And stage three. When it is big enough, the larva changes into a pupa. So it encases itself into a pupa. And then here's the fourth stage. A week later, an adult beetle crawls out of its case. And there's the adult beetle. That's pretty cool. All right, the beetle bodies. Beetles have amazing bodies. Their bodies are especially designed to help them do many jobs. Um, so we'll go with this one. This is a bombardier beetle. The bombardier beetle squirt hot gas and liquid at its enemy, making a loud pop, kind of like a fire. Um, this is a click beetle, so turn the wheel below to find out how the click beetle avoids trouble. So let's start with number one. I think it's over here. If threatened, the click beetles play dead. How interesting, like a, an opossum does that too. Then it arches its back and it's ready to, to spring back to life. Um, let's see, in a three, the beetle flicks high into the air, making a loud clicking sound. So have you ever seen those? I bet you uh, they're quite frequently um, in lots of different areas. The beetle lands and runs away behind, it's, um, behind is a startled enemy. So it pretends to be dead and then it takes off. 
So that's interesting, huh? An uh, interesting defense mechanism. So we have here the, rhinoc um, the rhinoceros beetle. Uh, the rhinoceros beetle is one of the strongest insects. It carries up to 850 times its own weight. This is a dung beetle. The dung beetle uses its front legs to roll animal waste into balls. It lays its egg in the actual ball. And when the egg hatch, the young feed on the dung. So that's pretty much poo. Uh, this is a stag beetle. The stag beetle uses its large jaws to fight other beetles. So these giant jaws are to fight each other, huh? Just to show who's stronger. Shiny beetles. So look at this cool page. Beetles are a wide variety of colors. Bright colors warn attackers that a beetle might be poisonous. Uh, this is a world gig beetle. This is a stag beetle, a musk beetle, a door beetle, a ground beetle, a jewel beetle, a leaf beetle, and a flower chafer. Beetles have hard wing shells. Some wings cases are metallic, red, or green. So, glowing beetles. Some beetles have body parts that light up. They use their special lights to attract other beetles. So glowworms. The glowworms light can be seen during summer evenings and the female hopes her light will attract a male glowworm. So to attract a mate. Uh, male and female fireflies flash lights at one another in a special pattern. So this is a firefly. Um, some click beetles have two glow, um, glowing spots in the back of their heads. Um, and then this cool thing about this page is if I look at it in the dark, this section will glow, which is cool. I that's why I love this book. Hiding beetles. Many beetles hide from danger. Some pretend to be leaves. Others bury themselves in dirt. Some use camouflage strip, uh, stripes to blend in with their surroundings. So this is a June beetle, a darkling beetle, a checkered beetle, and a tortoise beetle. It looks like a turtle, huh? So they use different forms of camouflaging to keep themselves safe. That's smart. A water beetles. This is the water scaven uh, scavenging beetle. Some beetles live in water. They swim using their legs as paddles. This is a whirly gig beetle. The whirly gig beetle floats on the surface of the water. Its eyes can see above and below the water at the same time. That's pretty amazing to see both the above view and the bottom view. And uh, this is a whirly gig beetle larva. The larva of a Whirly gig beetle crawls on the water surface. So look at how it looks completely different. So unless you know this is what it is, you would never think that that's what it would turn into. Crawling water beetles, screech beetle, and great diving beetle. The screech beetle makes a loud squeak if it is bothered. The water beetles eat small bugs, tadpoles, snails, and even small fish. So obviously they're big enough to do that. And the great diving beetle sticks its bottom out of the water to get more air. So so many cool I like it how this page turns over here so it looks like it's in the water. I love that. Strange beetles. There are more than 300,000 kinds of beetles. Some of these beetles look very strange. This is the death watch beetle. The death watch beetle makes a tapping sound. Long ago, people thought this was a sign that someone was going to die. This is a giraffe beetle. The giraffe beetle's long neck gives it its name, kind of like a giraffe. And this is the Goliath beetle. The Goliath beetle is as big as a human hand. So imagine my hand and that beetle being that big. I would love to have a Goliath beetle as a pet. That would be so cool. This is the giant African longhorn beetle. The sharp jaws in the giant African longhorn beetle makes it look frightening. This is a stag beetle. The stag beetle has a tough jaw. They're good for fighting and eating. Look at. And this is the violin beetle. Violin beetles measure up to four inches long, longer than a crayon. Their bodies are shaped like violins. So amazing, just a variety. A beetle box. If you would like to see beetles up close, make a beetle box. Use a small cardboard box with a lid. Have an adult punch several air holes in the lid. Catch some beetles and put them in the box with some leaves. Don't forget to let them go afterwards. And this is where to find them. To find beetles, look on the ground, on leaves and flowers and under rocks or logs. Underground search. Turn over a pile of dirt. Dig through the soil to look for beetles and how to catch it. Beetle senses danger. If you move your hand towards a beetle on a leaf, it will pull in its leg and drop to the ground. So put your other hand under the leaf to catch it. These are some fascinating facts. So we have the African dung beetles were introduced to Australia to help get rid of excess cattle waste. Did you know that? The oldest beetle fossil dates back to 265 million years. 
There are more than 300 types of beetles. In some parts of the world, people eat beetle larvae raw or roasted. That's certainly true, uh, especially if they don't have a lot of like big animal like farming and stuff like that. They are a source of protein. The fungus beetle oozes liquid from its leg joints that can blister and burn. Insects make up 85% of all living creatures. That is a huge amount. The Colorado beetle can ruin entire crops of potato. And the fastest beetle in the world is the green tiger beetle. And then they have a glossary, which most nonfiction books have to explain the meaning of words that you're introduced to. Well, I hope you enjoy this amazing nonfiction book. I love it. Thanks for joining me.